Hey guys, on my DT back again with a video you did not ask for. I'm gonna tell you that every single time until people start watching these. But I got my collection update for the Pokemon cards after uh, we did our Dollar General pulls. And let me tell you, I am happy. So, starting off, we have the. Let me see if we can get this out of the glare. Maybe we can. Maybe we're going to run around. So we got the Break Luxray. Um, only worth about a dollar. The An Enhanced Hammer uh, was around $5. The Drampa only worth about a dollar. But here's where the pools get interesting, right? Is we got a Rosa Hollow. It's worth about $5. But then my favorite card in my collection right now is this Pikachu. It's worth about $10 according to TCG Player. And I just love the artwork. Love it, love it, love it. I mean, it's, it literally is, it, you know, is what Pokemon is to me. You know, you got the Pikachu. It's it's real life to me. That You can imagine being Ash Ketchum there. I kind of looked like that when I was a kid. You wouldn't think that by looking at me now, but I kind of looked like him. And I probably would dress like him too because I wanted to be the Pokemon trainer that caught them all. Because, uh... Each Pokemon to understand. I forgot the song, so um, I could only remember that part for some reason. That's like the crappy part, so maybe I'll start singing it again. But And then, um, as you can tell, I've kind of updated my collection. Um, I did a video on my new binders. I mean, what I did was I added, um, I put my reverse hollows um, in one and then my quote-unquote actual pulls in the other. Um... I'm collecting um, reverse hollows uh, just so I have a collection to look at, to be honest with you. I know they're not worth much. Um, you know, I think maybe one or two of them are actually maybe worth a dollar um, at most, but most are like 24 to, to 30 something cents. Uh, but still, I mean, it'll add up 500 of them, you know, be a good chunk of change. Um, you know, might be $5 or so, but still, but. Um, I mean, if you're new, just so this isn't a waste of time, we got, I'll just show you kind of all the collection we got. Sorry for the glare. Um, maybe once people start watching this and I get some uh, some money coming in, I'm going to update how we can look at my collection. Um, ultimately, um, you know, one day, I think I'd really like to uh, have some kind of display for them, um, kind of like a wooden frame that says Pokemon gotta catch them all or something like that some cheesy but they're up on the wall uh, have some kind of UV protection something like that uh, put them in my house where people can see them you know I you know I'll, my wife would probably hate that but you know I'd love it because why else collect them they're, it's modern art to me so uh, that's the uh, the um, update to the collection um, and just some notes from the last video that I maybe didn't put out um, you know those hits, the, those the the new cards that I've added, um, they all came from a Dollar General run, and I spent thirty six dollars on packs, and I actually increased my um, my collection value was at sixteen twenty one uh, before those openings, and now um, I don't know what to do with the camera guys. Sorry. <laughs> Um, and now the collect, uh, it's round $35. So we went up about, uh, $19 in value, um, off those pools from Dollar General. And I spent about $36 at Dollar General. So the, I bought seven, $3, two packs, whatever you want to call it. And, um, I bought 15, $1 packs. Um, so, you know, I've heard a lot of stuff like don't buy the packs at Dollar General. They're awful. Uh, people weigh them, all that kind of stuff. Like I'm sure that's true probably a lot of places, but where I live, I don't even know if kids are into Pokemon, to be honest with you. Very small town stuff. I'm sure uh, half their parents still uh, think, uh, you know, liking Pokemon's devil worshiping or something like that. I mean, I, I've heard it before. Um, but, yeah, honestly, the $1 packs were a way better deal than the three dollar two packs, of course, just because um, you know, if you do the math, I could have bought three 
of those packs for what I was buying, you know, the two packs at, you know, for $3. But you did get the bonus card, which I did look. I also, um, something I forgot to show you. I'm kind of glad that I, I remember that's the wrong binder. Um, some of the bonus cards in that three pack um, were actually these Ashes Pikachu um, which are promo cards. I didn't know that. I didn't read the bottom because I'm stupid um, and I don't read. Um, those, I don't think really, you know, I looked on eBay. I didn't find them on TCG Player. I'm sure they're on there. Um, you know, I don't know. They were selling on eBay for, for a few dollars, uh, some ranging five, you know. I, I don't know how if people just buy them off kind of like, you know, people just buy them and don't think about it and they're kind of a scammy deal or if... Um, or if they're actually worth something, people actually want them. Um, but I saw like a full set of of them sell for quite a few dollars. So I'm actually going to keep stuff like that, promo cards, uh, even when they're kind of they were kind of sorry condition. Like I said, the cards were bent because they're that dollar. They're the dollar general purchase, and they came out of those packs. And God, like I said, I don't know. I mean, you guys, if you guys watched the video, you saw the condition. They were those were bent. Uh, those were bent cards. Um, so. Um, definitely make sure to watch what you're buying when you go to a place like Dollar General because I've bought quite a few packs at Walmart now. I haven't had to worry about it, which, again, small town Walmart. So, uh, you know, the cards are actually neat. I remember when I used to uh, live in a bigger town, you know, you go to the card section when you were a kid and it was just chaos. So uh, maybe I'm just kind of a, a small... Uh, sample of what I'm telling you guys. Maybe it has no meaning for anyone else. It's just uh, me and all the other small town Andes out there. But um, I would definitely recommend buying uh, dollar packs from Dollar General. Um, you know, I, I had almost, um, like I said, almost $19 worth of pulls uh, out of it. So I can't can't not recommend it when when I've spent you know, close to $50 and maybe only had $16 worth of pulls out of others. Um, it might have been the packs I'm buying too because I'm buying the uh, the Darkness of Blaze, which is the newest packs from Walmart. Um, so, you know, newer packs, less value. Uh, so that's probably it. So, you know, maybe someone's going to comment on here and be like, you're such an idiot. Um, don't buy those there. That's awful. You could get way better if you just went to eBay and bought this or that. But, you know, if that's the case, I'm glad someone tell me. Um, but really, the reason why I'm doing these videos is because I'm new at this. I want other people that are new to this know it's okay to not know. And I want maybe the people who just want to see someone um, be excited about what they're excited about, you know. Um, pretty much, you know, like like seeing someone start something that they're passionate about and they have a lot of money into and stuff like that. I mean, that's that's how I've always been with things, you know. Um, before World of Warcraft become kind of a trash game, I remember trying to get everyone into World of Warcraft. Like, hey, play World of Warcraft. Let's play together. It's it's awesome. It's great. And, you know, I'd, I'd see someone new start to play and it was like the best feeling ever. And then they were trash and it was, you know, horrible because you had to teach them how to play and I was like 12. But, you know, that's not the point. The point is, is that I hope you guys like these videos because I'm going to give them to you whether you want them or not. Call it statutory videography. Um, videography. There we go. I, I can I can speak English. I know I sound like a, a hick on these videos. I I used to be able to speak English well, and now I speak it good. Um, so I'm out of here, guys. See you later.